beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son stay blessed lord you are welcome Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Have your way. Sing, Lord, you are welcome. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome.
came here for tonight. He's our ever-present help. There are people who have come from all over. We have families who have come from great distances. God will not leave you to go back the same. No, you didn't come to meet an idol. You didn't come to meet those dead gods that are lifeless and have no power to change. Ye are come unto Mount Zion. The living God is in the midst of his people. Tell him your desire. Change us. Heal us. Set us free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Just hug and greet one another. Be seated. God will visit you tonight in a mighty way. I assure you. That presence that can change, that presence that can transform you, can build you. He said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. And so I'd like for your heart to be open because God is not doing the same thing. Not when his presence is in this place. We thank him for the gift of his presence. Inexplainable but undeniable. Men can write books on faith. Men can write books on prosperity. But how can you describe his presence? visit you tonight and your life will never be the same. We believe we believe Lord we believe Lord we that cometh unto him must believe that he is Hebrews 11 verse 6 and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him every time you come before his presence you must realize that there is a reward for seeking him you are not wasting your time for he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain He's called the Prince of Peace. When he comes, he truly gives you peace. Peace is not just quietness and rest. He gives you peace. He said, peace I give you. My peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives. His presence brings peace. His presence brings Every time you behold his glory, you see how small those mountains are. This is a sign that you are in his presence. Lord, we thank you. 
I have a very serious message tonight for the body of Christ. Very, very serious. It's a very prophetic message. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to be ambassadors. Not only ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven, but help your brothers and sisters and families. There are many messages that have come out from here that offer guidance, direction, prophetic accuracy and insight to help a lot of people. We made our messages free. Ministries sell tapes and messages and make hundreds of millions from it. But the time for that will come. We are more interested in getting the agenda of the Spirit to the nations, as many who will be interested in hearing. Let me tell you something without missing words. We have a message. We're not just crouching for what to say. For the Bible says, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. The Spirit is speaking, helping us to have an understanding of times and seasons to comprehend the things of the spirit and we thank God because he is granting us grace to build according to pattern we are that uncompromising remnant who will not defile ourselves with the meat of Babylon that has corrupted many great men we have chosen the path of the spirit and in spite of the pain it will bring we will endure we are this army determined to stand until we become all that he has destined us to be and let me tell you something it may take a while but as surely as the morning comes after a night a day will come it will take long but i have an assurance that a time will come when the word of god will be scarce and whoever has that word will run with it the price you are paying now is nothing compared to the price men will pay for their ignorance. This is why God is exposing us to his truth. Never take for granted the things that God is doing. This is not a church. You have your church where you worship on Sunday. This is an agenda. This is a program. This is a prophetic agenda. This is what God is doing. Hallelujah. So I like to prepare your heart. Never take for granted. Don't just come casually. For every time he calls you to a banquet, a table has been prepared before you. Hallelujah. And if you will believe him enough to realize you are not wasting your time, then the time of laughter will come. The Bible says it is as soon as Zion travails. The time of traveling is painful. Every great man knows that the birth of anything valuable is painful. Some of you had to trek to come here. Some of you probably have not eaten anything. There are families, this family, this whole family, father, mother, and all the children left Kogi State this morning to come. What are they looking for? For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth herself. I see Barista from Abuja. What you think people just come, you see, this is where what men of God don't get. We celebrate these things and just think this is a sign of increase in ministry. This is nonsense. It's my desire that this place becomes a portal where the voice of the Spirit will not be scarce, that we will not become part of the noise making preachers talking junks who are out of alignment with the things of the spirit that God will put his word he said he gave me the scroll and I did eat it and he said go and prophesy hallelujah that every time you come here you will hear the counsel of the spirit not the opinion of a man not the program, a doctrinal program of a sect or a religion, but that you will find God. 
This is why we depend so much in the Holy Spirit. It's not diabolism. We have come to realize that he's the only one who can help us fulfill this agenda. We are perpetually inadequate without him. That's why you hear us talk so much about the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people have a serious problem with that. But Jesus sent us the Spirit to make us like him. He's the Holy Ghost. He's the Spirit of the living God. He's the Holy Ghost. The scepter of the King of Kings. Yeah. He's the Holy Ghost. The seal of the age to come. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Jesus told us, he said, and when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. He will bring to your remembrance all the things that I've taught you, and he will show you. He will take up the things that are of the Father and show you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you. Not common things, but great and mighty things that you know not. An apocalypse, an unveiling of that which has been hidden. The Bible tells us that there are certain mysteries that have been hidden from the church. Appointed for a kind and a type of people. And Paul begins to, text, to tell the Corinthian church, he said, eye has not seen. That means no dimension of prophetic eye before now will be able to access those archives. They are under lock and key. Have been sealed until the time appointed. The Bible says the prophets kept stretching through their prophetic eyes to look into those times, but it was not given unto them. He said, neither has any ear heard. What God has prepared for them that love him. But the Bible says these mysteries will be granted unto a generation. Not necessarily just because of our prayer lives. It is part of the prophetic mandate of the spirit for a type and a kind of generation. Hallelujah. That generation, that prophetic and apostolic generation that will step in in beauty and light there is a kind of revelation and access into deep spiritual things in other words the knowledge and the access we've had hitherto is good but it cannot sustain us in these new seasons that we're stepping into and so there is a need to cry unto God to say Lord let there be an opening of the seal so that those things that have been hidden aforetime, that the scrolls will be open and the seals will be broken. So that these things that have been hidden, that even the great prophets could not access, would it be open unto a generation. But it will always take men who will defy the status quo and begin to press and say, Lord, show us, open our eyes. Open our eyes that we may see. We're tired of recycling messages that have stopped people from moving higher. Oh Lord, that you will break that seal. And the Lord says, if you call unto me, out of that revelation. For when the people of God were in captivity in Babylon, Daniel understood by books that after 70 years it was the time of their liberation and exodus out of babylon and the bible says on the strength of that insight he began to intercede and suddenly gabriel the archangel in service was going to bring the prophetic blueprint he said i gabriel am come to give thee understanding because every time god sends a revelation it is signified by an angel revelations one by one one verse one the bible says the revelation of jesus christ which he gave unto his servant john 
that he should show unto his servants and he gave it and signified it by his angel every time there are angels that convey revelations and guide the safe arrival of those revelations that's why to every church there were angels assigned their job is to make sure that the blueprint of the spirits that have been revealed will arrive safely the bible says while gabriel was on his way the prince of the power of the air the spiritual wickedness that governed the territory of persia attempted to stop him and as he continued traveling he wouldn't give up the bible says michael the archangel came and that message was brought there must be a generation ruth heflin left this prophecy before she went to be with the Lord. She said there is a generation that will reveal the glory of God. It will no longer be church as usual. God is doing a new thing I'm announcing to you. I've shared it here again and again and I've been criticized for it. The old wine has finished. There is a blowing of a new trumpet. It's not the old. It says after two days he will revive us. But on the third day, he will raise us up. There are many people who have gone out of sync with spiritual things. The sounds of the spirit are now strange and foreign to them. Because of all of the benefits that may come with ministry. But let me tell you, there are a people who are determined to stay. He said the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets. There are secrets. He will grant you access to do business in deep waters. And you will uncover things. This is what God is training you to become. Happy are you when God finds you faithful. Happy are you when God finds you uncompromising. It takes death to bring certain dimensions of glory into the earth realm. But happy are you. hallelujah I want to share with you very powerfully this night I want to show you by the Spirit of God where the church is in the prophetic blueprint of the ages it's important for us to know that we are playing prophecy we are prophecy in motion hallelujah the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is an unfailing an unveiling of prophetic things hallelujah every story in the bible everything that has been written has its natural meaning but has its prophetic meaning everything an adumbration of the things that god wants to do the wedding in cana for instance was a type of the old wine and the new wine that is coming to the body of christ Hallelujah. It's very important. Thank you, Jesus. The first thing I want to share with you is the current agenda of the kingdom of darkness. I have been very concerned. Please take tonight's teaching very seriously. I have been very concerned at the deafness of even those who call themselves prophets. I'm going to say some things tonight that will disturb a number of you. To the agenda of the darkness. The Bible says that we be not ignorant of the devices. The word devices there means the structure and the methodology. Do not be ignorant. In other words, your ignorance will not become good for you. Do not be ignorant. There is a plot. There is an agenda of darkness. Listen. Every generation and every dispensation has had Satan coming in to corrupt the things that God would want to do. In the Garden of Eden, the Bible says that Satan came in all subtlety, having been thrown down. There was judgment in heaven, the Bible tells us. And Lucifer... That cherub that covereth, 
who wanted to arise he said i will arise and be as the stars of god i want to be god by myself and the bible says there was war in heaven and he fell with a third of the angels isaiah 14 and ezekiel 28 it was his fall and the preceding judgment that led to genesis 1 verse 2 and the earth was dark and void formless let me announce to you that hell is not some mystery i've said it again and again hell is right in the earth hallelujah And hell is not just a location, but hell is a spirit. The Bible says death, hell, and the grave will be cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is not demonic. The lake of fire is part of the kingdom of God. It was designed for the judgment of Satan and all who are in fraternity and partnership with him. So there is an agenda. In the days of Noah... The Bible makes us to understand that the fallen angels, because they have the ability to translate themselves, they started translating themselves and intermingling with the daughters of men in an attempt to corrupt the race. That was the agenda of Satan during that dispensation. Hallelujah. When God raised a prophet, Elijah the Tishbite, the Bible tells us that there was a very strange woman, a prophetic type of the mystery Babylon called Jezebel. Every time God has a, an agenda, Satan always has a strategy and a plot. And not knowing it can cause believers severe casualty. When Jesus began to admonish the seven churches that were spread across Asia Minor, a type of the prophetic churches, a, a type of the church age, for every church that he commanded, he began to reveal to them the plots of Satan. For certain churches, he began to tell them that there were certain churches that were the churches of Satan, where Satan sat. Others, he warned them that the strategy of the devil is to make men look warm and to say, I have acquired this wealth. In every generation and every prophetic agenda of God, there is a strategy. Bible says do not be ignorant and I want to share with you right now the strategy that the devil would want to use to cause the sons in light to abort the prophetic agenda that God has for us you're ready number one deception 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 Ephesians 4 Ephesians 4. Look at me. Deception is the art of bringing men into error. Are you listening to me? To bring men into error. To cause a disaligning. To bring men into error. There is a lot. One of the things. One of the biggest problems of the church. And even the church in Nigeria right now is the spirit of deception. It's a terrible agenda by the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. And the Bible begins to warn us that this deception can be so great, even the elect can be deceived if care is not taken. There are lots of things going on in our churches and going on in various places. And because many men of God are not standing close to the ark there's so much deception popular things that look nice but are, are orchestrated by the devil many doctrines that we uphold today they are the doctrines of the nicolaitans metaphysical doctrines they look nice they look great they inspire us but they are not of god How did it become like this? One mentor teaching another. Somebody going for conference and getting it. Somebody sharing his testimony. Deception. Hmm. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. God knew that these kinds of things will arise. 
And it was on account of this that he gave unto men gifts. It's a shame upon the fivefold ministry that we do not even realize why God anointed and carved out the structure of the fivefold ministry. It's not for jamboree, not for competition, not to show which office is greater than which. Are you there? Verse 7. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are people. Now he that has ascended, what is it but he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended, you see that? He descended to the lower parts of the earth. Jesus went to hell and the Bible calls it the lower part of the earth. Not the lower part outside the earth. Hallelujah. Verse 11. He gave unto some apostles. Listen please. MOG, listen carefully. He gave unto some apostles. To some prophets. To some evangelists, to some pastors and teachers. Why? For launching, answer me, for building ministries and empires, for celebrating vain accomplishments that have no corresponding effect in the spirit. The Bible says, for the perfecting, equipping, maturing, building up, structuring of the saints. That's why he gave the gifts. That they, the saints, will now do the work of the ministry. To the end that we all come into the unity of faith. And of the knowledge, epignosis, accurate knowledge. Of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the fullness of the stature of the fullness of Christ, and even that growth is to an end. Verse 14, read together that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Now, listen, he said, by the slight of men. And the crowning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deception. Deception. There is a lot of deception going on in the body of Christ. And a lot of people don't want to speak. Why? Because they don't want to, they hate the injury. Let me tell you something. If you do not want to stand the pain of ministry, go and get a job. Just go somewhere. We have a lot of men of God who are afraid of their ego, their reputation, and they will not alert the body when there is danger. The Bible says, not many of you should presume to be teachers because you will be judged. Hallelujah. There is a lot of deception in the body of Christ. A lot of gospels. Colossians 2 verse 8. Can we look at that quickly? Thank you Jesus. The presence of God is strong in this place. Colossians 2 verse 8. The agenda of the devil. Are you there? One to read. It's projected. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. Stop. The word spoil there is let any man make you a spoil. You know when? when? Let any man plunder you. Cheat you. Let any man spoil you. Through what? What is, hold on. What is philosophy? What is philosophy? Nice, well-crafted, entertaining, intelligent intellectual presentation of scripture the bible calls it philosophy and what vain deceit 
Is that in your Bible? It says, after what? The tradition of men and after fraternity with this world. Based on the principles and concepts that have evolved from men who brought it about without the presence of God. After the redument. This is what is happening in many churches. After the redument of this world, but not after Christ. We have emulated a lot of junks and things that have no spiritual bearing. We have read all kinds of unbelievers have written entrepreneurial books on how to run a church like a business empire. And we have people who are gullible. They went for retreats but not to pray. They went to sit down and listen to doctrines of devils. And they have learned all kinds of demonic ways of manipulation and seductions. And they are deceiving the body of Christ after the regiment of the world. Are you, are you hearing me tonight? With my mouth shall I make it known from the rising of the sun right until it's going down. I will preach of the mercies of the Lord. Some of us are already being deceived right now. There are all kinds of metaphysical deceit. Please hear me. Some of us in our innocence, we have mentored men that are misleading us in the name of deceit. Praise the Lord. There are many churches right now that do all kinds of satanic and demonic things. The man of God has special members they take to the river. They do all kinds of demonic satanic things. Because they read the Bible does not mean it's of God. There are men of God that add the word of God with all kinds of satanic books. 12 books of Moses. 11 books of Moses. All kinds of metaphysical, philosophical, sociological junks. We put it together. The fact that you are compromising and seeing results does not mean it's God. There are natural principles. And men by nature are gullible. That a crowd is coming like this does not necessarily verify that we are of God. Hallelujah. Many of us like results. Anything that looks like results, we just go hook, line, and sinker. But may the Lord grant us eyes to see. May we see the handwritings on the wall and see that for many people it is written, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufesen. God is saying, we have been weighing you for a long time. You have been misleading people. God has been weighing you. But Ichabod, the glory will depart from many churches. And Ezekiel was caught up in the spirit. And when Ezekiel went by the spirit to the temple, he saw the atrocities that were happening in the temple. Yet the men of God were still dressing nice, wearing suits, wearing kaftan like me, having flowers around, but they are not of God. Deceiving people and being deceived themselves. Lord, grant us ears to hear and eyes to see. There are an evolution of erroneous doctrines. Please listen to me. Some of these doctrines have been so long in the body of Christ. They are popular. We like them. You hear them on TV. People can attest to have received results from them. But I tell you the truth, they are not of God. When Moses threw his rod, Pharaoh also threw his rod. And they all became serpents. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come out of her. Come out. It was a cry to the Zion of God. Come out of her. Be not partakers of her halotry. So that you will not participate in her, in her plague.
And the deception is twofold. Number one, erroneous doctrines. Popular but erroneous doctrines. Well received but erroneous doctrines. Result producing but erroneous doctrines. Number two, listen, look up please. The second, so the first dimension of the deception is a reception of doctrines that may be popular. Listen, don't get me wrong. Some of the people who advocate these doctrines are innocent people. Genuinely called of God. Hallelujah. The second is deception to come, listen. I think this second one is even more, is worse than the first dimension of deception. Where people refuse to open up themselves to the greater light and the truth of God's word because of their ego and what it will cost them. Are you listening to me? There are men who would rather die than to begin to explore the new things they are hearing to find out whether they are wrong. There are churches and denominations that will never change. It doesn't matter even if, it's, if Jesus appears to them. They have built a reputation around their doctrines too much. It, it, they will have to die. Many people will not adjust. Rather, they will criticize any truth that is beyond their comprehension. I, I said it during the teachings, the full, the full gospel. There are people who have mistakenly been convinced that they are the alpha and omega of all the keys of revelation of the kingdom and that the sphere of all that they know is all that there is in God. This is another kind of deception. The best any man can be is an effective member of the body. So we have men who are arrogant. I once had a man of God make a very arrogant statement that even if for any reason he has cause to read another man's book, even if he reads it, he will see a lot of things through that book that even the author did not see. I said, look at it. See that? That's what stopped the scribes from receiving the message of Jesus. Because they had known all the books, the Pentateuch. They were the doctors and philosophers of that time. They had every knowledge that they needed. So when Jesus came with a simple message, thy kingdom come, by your will being done, they rejected it because it did not appeal to them. And when they found out that the whole town was running in sincere hunger, just like many people do today, they began to criticize and made it a point of duty that Jesus would die. But his death only escalated the message. And today, millions and billions of people are receiving this truth. It takes a childlike heart. One of the biggest deceptions in the church right now is the ego to accept the fact that, look, could it be that this that I've held on to, could it be wrong? Or could it be that it may not be wrong, but there is a higher light? Are you listening to me? There are truths that are not wrong. The Bible says he made many lights. Those lights gave illumination in their capacity. But then God made two great lights. Let me give you an advice. You must posture yourself consistently. Listen to me. You must posture yourself. Open up yourself and be in a position of perpetual realignment. Because revelation is progressive. That is a sign that you are making progress in the spirit. As you begin to explore the deep things of God, you will begin to see clearer. The Bible says Jesus touched his eyes and he saw men but he saw them like trees. If Jesus had left him, he would argue that men are like trees. But then he touched his eyes again 
And the Bible says he began to see clearly. Open our eyes, O oh God, that we may behold wondrous things out of thy law. There has been an inaccurate interpretation of the truth of God's word. Inaccurate. And let me tell you something. When it comes to the accurate interpretation of God's word, it's not about Bible college and theological study. It's about the spirit of prophecy. Because the Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Deception. Some of our family members today have been taught that when they leave a particular man of God, their destiny goes with him. Have you, have you had that kind of gospel? Where the man of God ties himself and says, you are tied to the oil on my life. If you leave, you will fail. It's called the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. It came from the pit of hell. Popular, result producing, but erroneous. This does not come from God. The reason why many men of God like it is because it's lucrative. It has a lot of financial benefits. If I can have 10 wealthy people tied to my oil. Men have just found ways to camp and to ease away their insecurities and frustrations. So they create gospels that try to make them feel secured by threatening people around. It came from the devil. Some of you are already doing it. Stop it tonight. You are being in deception. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. God never gave man authority to usurp authority over another person. The concept of fatherhood and mentorship is not idolatry. It's to guide and instruct in righteousness. Oh, but there is a change. There is a change. I tell you, there is a change. Things will not be as they have always been. There is the hand of God bringing judgment and bringing redemption. Because there are many people that are in this error innocently. Both men of God and people. We used to believe some of these things years ago. But as we began to explore, every time we believed it, something in our hearts told us, uh -uh, go back. And like the Bereans, we went back. And when we began to explore, we found out that there were a lot of question marks. They did a lot of filling the gap. And we said, no way. What is supposed to be in that gap? This is what the Lord has been. There are many of you, when you hear a message, it's not like you are cynical. Something in your spirit tells you, go back. Go back. When other people are shouting, whoa, God says, uh-uh. Fill in that gap before you rejoice. Fill in the gap. It's deception. It's deception. Is happening fast fast there are deceptive church growth principles that are taught in ministers conferences deceptive diabolical occultic church growth principles there are deceptive church fundraising principles popular seemingly result producing but hear this voice tonight I'm speaking to you. John said, I am the voice of one. They said, who are you? Where do you belong? Which camp do you belong? John said, uh -uh, this is not an issue of camp. I am just a voice. One of the first assignments of the spirit of prophecy is to destroy the altars of Baal that a new one be built. Deception. The strength of the kingdom of darkness is ignorance. For as long as the body of Christ remains in ignorance, ignorance, the inaccurate understanding of scriptures. Revelation is not an opinion of man, it's an unfailing 
of that which has been hidden. And that happens by the Spirit of God. Deception. Hallelujah. Number two, agenda of the devil for the church in this season is going to shock you what I'm about to say. Distractions through religious activities. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Distractive religious activities. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. The highest praise to the King. He will take all the glory. He will take all the praise. He will take all dominion. He will take all the praise. He will make it yours. Paul seeing and speaking to the Hebrew church. He said with all things have been made under the feet of Jesus. He said but we do not yet see. Although from heaven's perspective it has been so. There is still a contention in the earth realm. That's why God will use voices to make that a reality. That Christ will submit to the authority of the Father. The church will submit to the authority of Christ. And by the agents of the Spirit, the Spirit and the Bride will compel cosmos to come under the authority of the church. This is the agenda of God for the nations. So there is a plot. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is a a shoot out from the spirit of deception distractions there is no time in the church age where believers have activities everybody say after me activities there are there are there are churches that are organizing programs every day every day every day that's what they read from their books engage the members and they won't leave your church so they read it. It was written by a business expert and a consultant. It looks popular. But let me tell you the truth. You can criticize me. I'm used to it. But I will tell you. These things look popular. Let me tell you where this spirit came from. Hold on. Do you realize that when the nation of Israel were in captivity in Egypt. Hallelujah. When Moses came as a deliverer, what happened? The moment he went to Pharaoh and said, God is already making preparation to get the people out. Pharaoh said, ah, let's use a strategy. He said, give them more work. It is because they are idle that they even have the gods to begin to consider an exodus. Occupy them. And when they had the work, it was too much. They told Moses, they said, forget about this issue of exodus now because now they are making us look for straw every time satan sees a people waiting do you know how many times the bible talks about the benefit of waiting hmm. i bring you the counsel of the spirit there is too much distraction activities everywhere hallelujah now, I'm not saying everybody who is involved in this is false. You get my point? I'm just trying to plot out to you. We think the impact is in the motions. But the Bible says it is they that wait upon the Lord. They shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings. There are many men of God right now who are under pressure pressure to do any and everything just finding activities because they believe that once there is motion who taught us facebook twitter the more you create activities the more people come to your side it is that business strategy we brought to the church because we think the church is facebook so we think when we keep engaging the people 
it will show that we are increasing. The average believer has no knowledge of the truth of God's word that he can use to stand alone. That's why we depend on pastors. People, I'm not saying spiritual authorities and ministers. No, we are not. We have a place in the body of Christ. But where you become so dependent, as though if you leave the person, you will die, you are already on the road to deception. And men of God pride themselves. How many sons and daughters, you know, when people come to me and talk about submission, I feel like running away because I cannot understand what they are saying. Aaron, my son, ah, me. When you visit the secret place, you will be ashamed of taking some titles. It will take God to force you and say, just for organization. Yet, this is the pride of people. They fight it. Some men have the effrontery to say, this is my earthly father, but he's my spiritual son. Shame on both the man and his revelation. It's a sign of immaturity. We think it is great pride because they clap for you after the statement. Talk is cheap. Distraction. Religious activities where Christ is not the focus. Can I tell you the truth? Look at me. I'm going to tell you a truth you may not hear in many places. Over 70% of the weekly religious activities that are happening in many of the Christian circles are only aimed at increasing the ministry and getting the job going. Christ is less, if at all, a focus in most of these programs. Forget about what we men of God do on stage. We can kneel down and cry and ushers will bring this and will clean book. Imagine holding. I'm just trying to show you all the benefits. If you gather 100,000 people non stop for 100 days, do you know how much you will raise? Is it lucrative or not? Not to talk of those who will sow into your life by being blessed. Now, I'm not saying every gathering is wrong. But I'm telling you, many of these gatherings are just a, a... They don't teach you. I'm telling you this. They don't share it in congregations. Go, you don't have the opportunity to go for a minister's conference. They will look at you and say, are you a minister? Go out. I am telling you. And people discuss it boldly. But let there be a generation that will not adulterate itself with corruption and error. Many of you will be the only voices some communities will have to hear. The Bible says there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect. Will you allow your voice to be corrupted? There is a way of getting all of these things. Look at me. While I was preparing to come, I was taking my bath and the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. And I was angry in my spirit about the ways people raise money in church. And then the Lord told me something. He said, listen, listen. I don't know of any church in the world. I don't know of any auditorium in the world that can seat 2 million people comfortably. I don't know of any. The largest gathering in the world that has happened is 6 million people within a span of 3 days. Only 3 days. They could not manage them. But Moses worked with more than 3 million people for a long time. How did he cater for their need? What system was used? There is no auditorium I know on earth, church auditorium, that is as expensive as the temple of Solomon. How did they do it? Were the people so wealthy like that? Or was there a spiritual principle we are missing out? They had enough. I don't know one church that has stopped members and said this is enough. Except it's just emotional frivolities by the pastor. You say, oh, it's enough. Don't bring more money. But David meant it. He, was, he had enough to start building the temple. What are we missing, church of the Lord Jesus Christ?
distraction. There are many of you, it is when you started getting unnecessarily distracted that your spiritual life started dying. Are you following me now? You started with God. You started celebrating ministrations every day. This is how busy my itinerary is. In the morning I'm here. I don't have time for you. I have one in the evening. Then tomorrow, and you started calling it ministry expansion. Because at the end of it, there is an envelope. You calculate everything. That's somebody's salary. Your money in a week is somebody's salary. And he said, Lord, thank you. You spoke to me that the oil of my life will speak. Be careful because he will not know when you will fall. The Bible says, let he that thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. This is what has killed men of God. Many men of God started on fire, but they became administration, administrators. I try as much as possible, and we try in this ministry to do less of administration. God gave us wisdom to create robust administrative structures so that we can focus on the ministry of the word and prayer. Because let me tell you, some of you are already receiving all kinds of invitations. You think that a door is opening means it's God that opened it. Be careful. I pray on every ministration before I honor it. I don't care who is bringing it. You ask the protocol department and they will tell you. Because I do not want to be found doing what God has not sent me to do. When he sends you, he will defend you. When you send yourself, you will defend yourself. Hallelujah. These are unpopular parts. But choose whether to be a celebrity in the eyes of men or to be a voice that men can listen whenever they want to hear the counsel of God. I choose the latter. That I will be a voice. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? Look at me. Many of you may need to make resolutions this night. Look at me, please. Listen. I want you, as you go back this night, go and edit the things you do with your 24 hours and see how much Satan has choked you with activities that have no eternal relevance. I am telling you the truth. Is that true? Just take out time and in all sincerity through the lens of truth and of the word of God, edit your 24 hours and see how many things you do within your 24 hours that actually leads you towards purpose and has an eternal relevance. You will understand that this is a, this is a strategy from Satan to distract us. I've taken out time to edit my life. Especially in this phase of our lives, look at me. There are some things that are not necessarily evil, but they are weights at this level of life. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, Hebrews 12 verse 1, it says, Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. They are not necessarily sins, but they are weights. Lamentations 3.27 He said it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. Some of you may never be great in life because you are not ready to take the burden now. The strength, the glory of young people is in their strength. Pay the price. Now you have the energy to fast. Some of our parents cannot endure that again. But now you have strength. So take advantage of the strength you have right now. Your mind is still alive and active. Explore. Pay the price. I won't deceive you. You will cry. It will cost you something. But when weeping is done, you will rejoice forever. Let's hurry up. The third plot, Satan, is fraternity with Babylon. Friendship. Friendship with Babylon. The Bible says, love not the world. The word love there is do not develop a lust, a craving. Love not the world or the things that are in this world. The word world there is the word system. Are you listening to me? Some people have religiously said, uh-huh, why are you driving a nice car? 
Why are you doing this? Why are we buying this? We are wasting money. Please, this is not what the Bible is talking about. This is another religion. It is in category one. You know, the deception thing. No. God is not against your looking good. Lazarus with all his poverty is in heaven. Abraham with his wealth is in heaven. It's not because they were rich or poor that they missed heaven or didn't get there. You can have a productive life on earth and have eternal relevance. I choose that option. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? But it says, love not the world or the things that are in this world. It says, whoever loves the world, period, without argument, the love of the Father is not in him. Loss of the eyes, loss of the flesh, pride of life. Some of us have a craving for vanities. When God wants you to sit down and study, you say, ah, there's one car exhibition they are doing somewhere. It's not wrong, but compared to the priority you have, this is vanity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are people who can be in church like this and the word of God is coming with this kind of fire that the word of God is coming. Check what they are doing. They are trying to respond to their friend. As if the friend is dying. It can't wait. Were you dead before Facebook or, or all of the, the social media? See, some of you cannot even off your phone to pray. It will be as if pain is choking you. Five minutes, just, well, you just run and say, let me check. If nobody has checked, you will send something. You are waiting for who will respond. This is, this is fraternity with Babylon. That's where some of you land on godly attitudes. They wrote poems and jokes that are satanic and anti-progress, anti-greatness. You saw it, read it, absorbed it, and you are using it. See how your life started nosediving. Many people got into satanic relationships. Men of God online. Now, I know that these things have been used very well. There, is, there are demonic sites that men of God have gone to. Demonic sites. All searching for solutions. Huh? Zodiac. Huh? Zodiac sites. You know them. You are pretending as if you don't know them. All of these sites. Click and see who your life partner is. Or click and see how long you have to live. They say you are dying next week. I'm coming for Koinonia. <laughs> Who asked you to go and click it? You put your date of birth, everything, the name of your intending spouse, it brought out your life. You say you have suffering and death afterwards. <sighs> you just say, I want to see you. Some things have been going on in my life. What is it? You carried your hands and you went and tied yourself. fraternity longer throat has taken some people they've gone to places where they shouldn't go said yes to things and people they should not say yes to he who does not have control over his spirit is like a city without walls I refuse I refuse to fraternize with Babylon not her methods, not her way of life. Because the Bible says, Babylon the great is falling. He said, her and all the kings of the earth that have benefited in her merchandise. He said, this great harlot, Babylon, in one hour, her glory has been turned to shame. It will be sudden. And the Bible tells us, come out of her. Come out of her. God is speaking to somebody tonight. Come out of her. Go and re-edit your life. Re-edit your life. There are some of you ladies here. You can have 10 to 20 boyfriends. From the film you watch, they said that's how to be a correct girl. Rich, poor, average, in case anyone that works. You hear a message like this now and think we're just sweating and talking nonsense. 
and you will be hardened. And if they ask, they say, what kind of man do you want to marry? He said, I want him to be serious with God. He must be a disciplined man. Is it a fair combination? Look at the way your life is. Everybody say after me, I will stand out. I hope as you are laughing, the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. Deception. Distraction. Fraternity with Babylon. Let me tell you the agenda of God now. We cannot just talk about the things that the devil is doing. What is God doing? The Bible says the sons of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times and they knew what to do. The spirit and the bride say come. Let me tell you what is happening in the body of Christ right now. Look at me. The Bible says before the day of the Lord, please listen. It tells us that something is going to happen. What will happen? He said, Elijah shall come again before the day of the Lord. Why will Elijah come? What does Elijah represent? The transfiguration of Jesus Christ. When Jesus was transfigured, two people stood by his left and right. Is that correct? One was Elijah. The other was Moses representing the law and the prophet. Notice that all the people that represent major spiritual truths that should not be aborted, though they died, but their body did not touch this earth. Because their, their representation is an adumbration. Are you listening to me? If Moses' body dies and is buried in the earth, and this is, I'm going to say something that will create a lot of controversy right now. Moses represents the law. This is a very shocking thing. It's against what has been preached. But did you notice that against our popular messages, Moses, his body is not in the earth. Elijah represents the prophet. The prophetic has not finished. So Elijah did not touch the earth. I won't say more than that. Sila, let he that has an ear hear what the Spirit say to the churches. Popular, but wrong. Hmm. Let's continue. The Bible says Elijah will come, Malachi. It says, before the great day of the Lord. Listen. Every time Jesus is about to appear, whether Jesus as a person or his prophetic agenda, Elijah always foreruns him. Are you following me now? Before Elijah came in the New Testament, before Jesus came, what happened? John the Baptist came where? In the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of prophecy. And the Bible says before Jesus will come again, there will be a manifestation of Elijah. So, don't be surprised if you see a manifestation of prophets. But let me tell you where the problem is wrong. Elijah is not manifesting as a miracle worker. Elijah is manifesting to bring accurate knowledge of the understanding of the truth. To prepare the church for the coming of Christ. Are you getting that? If you understand this, you can test prophecy at once. Because see... The clearest proof that a man is a prophet is not miracles and all of this. The clearest proof is that you can bring to us an accurate understanding of scripture. This is what tells us that you are in connection with the throne room. He said by their fruits. Their fruit is not character. Character can be deceitful. Their fruit is their message. Right now, many people believe if your pastor is a prophet, I apologize. I'm not, I'm not against. I have people that are prophets. I know they are of God. We, we, we have times dedicated. We live in the miraculous here. 
But I'm telling you, listen to me. The primary function of prophets in this day is not to check how much you have in your account and say, promise, stand up. 331 302 879 110. That's my account number. <laughs> you see that? And you say, Jesus. Now, that's the manifestation of the gift. But if that is all we think prophecy is about, that's not the true portrait of the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of Elijah first comes, the first assignment is to correct errors by the accurate understanding. This is what we call epignosis. Epignosis is not just a Greek terminology to write books and sell. Uh -uh. Epignosis means the accurate understanding of truth. And this one is by revelation. There is no school that will teach it. The spirit of God will overshadow a man and bet something. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. He said, the power of the highest will overshadow you. There are men who God is overshadowing right now. God is mantling, closing them like a coven and birthing dangerous dimensions of spiritual truth. That's the spirit of Elijah. When I talk of the spirit of prophecy, I'm not necessarily talking of the office of a prophet alone. Correcting a lot of things. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith? Will he find men who will be able to align and adjust to the corrections of the truth? Are you receiving something? When, listen to me, listen to me. Before the rebuilding of Zion, there will first be a breaking down, a tearing down. Are you listening to me? Then there will be a reconstruction of the house of God, not by the patterns of men. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The sacrifice of Cain and Abel is a type of the old and the new church. It's a prophetic adumbration. What happened? Because Cain is the elder brother, he believed that he understood the rudiments of giving that kind of sacrifice. And the Bible says he wanted to sacrifice and do something for God, but his combinations were wrong. Were they received? And then his brother Abel, which is a type of the new church, came and put that sacrifice according to pattern. So God is revealing divine patterns on how to do spiritual things such that they become acceptable sacrifices. And this will cause the way we run ministry as we know to change for many ministries. Happy are ministries that can align and take the pain and, and forget about the ego and allow it to happen. But for those who will not change, mene, mene, tekel, ufasen. You have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. Hallelujah. So the first thing that God is doing right now is correcting errors. Let me tell you, don't confuse this. This is what is happening in the body of Christ. God is raising prophetic and apostolic voices who are coming after the order of Elijah. With the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of Jesus Christ. Their focus and everything they do, by votes and leads people directly to the Christ of God. And they will come with grace. They will deliver mysteries that are uncommon. The fact that these mysteries are uncommon does not mean it is not of God. It will be resisted, but that which is born of God always overcomes. So eventually... Light will surpass darkness. It will be strange. When Jesus came, bringing the gospel of the kingdom, the Bible says, the people say, from whence cometh this man? He speaks as one with authority and not as the scribes. The Bible says, when they saw the miracles and the things he did, they said, we have never seen it in this fashion. That means there is a fashion that is coming. 
And that's why God is preparing you. That you are hearing this message tonight, I want you to know that you are part of the agenda of God. Are you listening to me? That you are hearing this message, whether inside or outside. That you are hearing this message. And for as many around this country and the world who will hear this message and those who are streaming online, I'm telling you that there is an agenda. And for you to be hearing this message, you are part of it. Just as God is using me, there are many prophetic voices scattered around the world. Not many, as it were. But many in that they are within reach. That God is raising. The message is the same. The expressions must be different. Because we are different. But the passion and the communications of the spirit is the same. Preparing the bride. It is the spirit and the bride that will ask this word to come. Can you just pray in tongues as you're seated in one minute? Yes, Lord, we hear your voice. We hearken unto the voice of the Spirit. And we understand the handwritings that you are writing on the wall. You must open your heart. Some of the things I've shared have challenged some of you. Search the scriptures and you will find that the word of God is consistent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, just just express your spirit in, in one or two minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zibata balada bakasiha. The remnant of the house of Jacob. The uncompromising generation. Kept under the custody of Obadiah. 7,000 who have refused to bow to Baal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ventilate your spirit. Just let it find expression. Yeah. One minute I will continue. Outside, make sure you are stretching. We hear the sounds of the spirit. To the hill of the Lord, we press higher in the spirit. Shema <speaking in Spanish> 
it may cost us now but we will pay the price we will soar to the spirit we will labor in knowledge uncompromising yeah. Yeah. So let it rain, let it rain, open the floor gates of heaven, let it rain, yeah. let it rain, would you open the floor gates of heaven? Let it rain, let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Would you open the portals of glory? Yeah. Fountains of your presence. For that great and terrible day the spirit of Elijah will be poured upon the body of Christ and now is that time in the prophetic blueprint of the spirit where those who are interested Elijah worshippers Elijah preachers Elijah businessmen Elijah workers, Elijah politicians, men crafted, forged out of the furnace of affliction with scars that represent their dealings in the spirit. Men who have endured pain, men who have endured tears, men who have died to themselves and their agendas. Elijah's in the military, Elijah's in business. It's the spirit of prophecy that will testify only of Christ and of his agenda. Listen. When the spirit of Elijah comes, the spirit of Elijah will tear down walls. The spirit of Elijah will first be destructive and then constructive. It will break down patterns that have been built after Babel. For there is a rebuilding of the tower of Babel. But the spirit of Elijah is an audacious spirit is a prophetic and apostolic spirit of prophecy that comes to correct the errors of the fathers to correct the errors and they shall be called the repairers of the bridge they shall rebuild the walls and raise the desolations of all generations they shall be called the repairers of the bridge the repairers of the bridge they will fix that which was spoiled.
they will fix that which has been popular yet not in synchrony not in tandem with the workings of the spirit they will have ears that are sharp they will have eyes with the visions of an eagle and they will be able to decipher the writings on the world they will hearken to the voice of his majesty and will only build the house according to divine pattern they will introduce a fire that will burn everything and test everything it will be a refiner's fire they will come after the order of elijah that the word of god from their mouth will be like fire it will burn it will reshape it will construct they will be men of power men of force men of grace men of dexterity audacity they will have power in the heavens it is during that time that the sun will be turned into blood and there will be signs in the earth there will be wonders because the manifestation of this man i bring to you body of christ blow the trumpet i come with an apostolic mantle sound the alarm sound the alarm the seasons are changing there is a renaissance a rebirth of the elijah church correcting the errors of the fathers men of authentic power men of grace men of revelation and insight that have not been taught by any man comparing spiritual things with spiritual that is only taught by the agency of the holy ghost those who have searched and understood where the secret place of the most high is they have found it they've come there and they will abide under the shadow of the almighty take us to that place let there be a burden of the elijah church let there be a burden of the elijah church in abuja in lagos in zaria in portacot all over nigeria let there be a burden we blow the shofar we authorize heaven Elijah's arise Elijah's arise Elijah businessmen arise Elijah preachers arise Elijah worshippers arise with the spirit of prophecy which will only testify of no denomination of no sect but the Christ of God Kingdoms will rise against kingdoms. Doctrines will rise against doctrines. Nations will rise against nations. There will be a clash of light and darkness. And the church of the Lord, built upon the rock, shall stand. Tried by fire. Men who have been battered from the furnace of pain and affliction. With no agenda of their own whatsoever. This is a message from the Lord to the body of Christ. The spirit of Elijah cometh. The spirit of prophecy. There will be a restoration of the act. 
accurate interpretation of the truth of the word accurate accurate given by the Holy Ghost the one who inspired it accurate interpretation of scriptures Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. The Lord told me that what will begin to happen is an exposition of darkness. You will hear things on media that will shock you. Darkness will be exposed. The veils that have covered the eyes of men for years will be exposed. Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufasen. I sound it and I prophesied as I was commanded. Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufasen. The altars of Baal. Judgment is coming upon the body of Christ. And there will be a smashing down. For many have been weighed in a balance. And they have been found wanting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After the destruction of the altars of Baal, the next will be a fresh walk upon the saints, preparing them for the last apostolic revival that will be coming upon the earth that will be the next mission of the spirit of Elijah first to tear down walls to correct error and then to begin to rebuild the saints there will be a restoration of the true apostolic the true prophetic the true evangelistic the true pastoral and teacher offices then once again, men will begin to call upon the name of the God that will not be strange unto them. Men will begin to call upon the God that they know and have a working relationship with. And I tell you friends, when that begins to happen, it will announce the greatest reviver Smith Wigglesworth prophesied it the generals of old prophesied it I announce to you there is coming a reviver everything that will be shaken will be shaken the newspapers will no longer carry stories of politicians the captions will be the fire of the spirit our media we will not need to pay to go on air. The impact will be so great. It will make news. The fire will fall in nations you did not expect. And then after that, the heavens will be open. And once again, we will see him, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The Alpha and the Omega. He will come gloriously upon the silvery cloud and his feet will not touch the earth. And the victorious church, now without spot or wrinkle, will be caught up and we will meet with him and it will begin another dispensation. And then the spirit and the pride, we say, come Lord, come Lord. Yes to your agenda. Yes to your agenda. Yes to your agenda. We make way for the coming of the Lord Jesus. We make way for the revival. Jesus is coming. Preachers, don't preach it again. I'm telling you, Jesus is coming with the blast of the archangel. He will come for a victorious church. 
His coming is soon. That's why the spirit of Elijah is released upon the body. Jesus is coming. This same Jesus whom you have seen go to heaven will return in the exact same manner. I bring you a message. Jesus Christ is returning to planet earth. Jesus Christ is returning. It will happen. It's not a myth. It's not a legend. A day will come. There will be no more business. There will be no more APU. An agenda bigger than it will unfold. We are at the ending periods. Let him that has an ear hear and give priority to the agenda of the spirit. Every other thing will become temporal. But only one agenda will stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, hear me. This is what God is doing right now. Right now. If you've ever tried to find out where the church is in prophecy, this is what God is doing right now. Any church, any man of God, you find with the spirit of Elijah tearing down the walls of Baal and building people is a true church. This is how you will know them that are of God and them that are not of God. And all the sorcerers and magicians and the soothsayers and the necromancers that appear they will fall together with Babylon I give you glory Lord hallelujah please let me pray for the family that came from Kogi please come tonight's message is a message to the body of Christ you're welcome sir you're welcome, sir. You're welcome, ma. You're welcome, my dear. Welcome. Can you appreciate them? <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to announce to you that you are come to Mount Zion. The Spirit of God is in this place. There's no jamboree or magic. Christ is Lord here. The Lord will bring deliverance to your family. The oppression of 36 years will end. Can I pray for you? I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me something about you, sir. It's a miracle that you are not yet dead. Based on the things that I'm seeing. Because death tried you two times. This is what God is telling me. Yes. Is that true? They will go to inside church. to collapse and The Lord is telling me to tell you that death tried him two times. It's the grace of God that has kept him. You see, and and you too, nothing. Huh? I'm seeing a bag with holes inside. Everything you get leaves. Not I don't I don't fit again. It's all right. It's all right. Please, please don't cry. Please help her with the handkerchief, please, somebody. This is a mother, for God's sake, please. Please. You can see how wicked Satan is. And rather than we men of God contending to bring solutions for people, we are looking for names for ourselves. All of you will experience the hand of God. Let me tell you, things will change. You will know you met God tonight. We are his ambassadors. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Who is, are you sisters?
That's what I'm saying. Don't, don't worry. Don't tell me. Let me talk. Hmm? Because I need to. There is, there is, there, this one is a curse. Huh? Sister, there is a curse. Any man that comes around you will just play around with your heart and pack his load and go. This is what has been happening. A very beautiful girl. Huh? But the Lord will set you free. Okay? And you, I'm going to pray for you. Because the face I'm seeing physically is not what I'm seeing in the spirit. Sir, God showed me, but I didn't talk to you. You are tied with snakes. This is what I'm seeing from your feet to your head. This is what makes him to collapse. It's as if you cannot move your legs. Yes, yes. Is that true? It, I'm seeing, but God will set you free. Yes. Madam, please don't cry. Please, for God's sake. It's okay. Hope comes to your family. This is not everybody. Bring their pictures. You brought some pictures. Go and bring it. Did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss this with me? Did you tell me you are coming with pictures? The Lord who sees these things will solve your problems. Who is this? Where is he? It's not you. The devil put the spirit of hatred between you and him. Even the little resources to send and help you is not doing it. It's not a bad person. This is demonic. Before, where, where? If you no see me, where is that one money? But in now, three months, you no send anything. No tell me anything. So let hope, let it rise. For darkness trembles in your holy land. Sing it one more time for this family. Listen, when I pray for you, things will change overnight. Did you hear what I said? Things will change overnight. Sir, this oppression will leave you right now. I set you free right now. Sheba Katalabos. The heat you're feeling is the power of God. Now, devil of death, leave him. I curse you right now. Take your hands off him. I restore to you everything you have lost. Hell. Hell. Sir. Command financial restoration, restoration of everything you have lost in the name of Jesus. It's written in God's word, blotting out every handwriting. I enforce that which has been finished from redemption, and I declare that you will walk in victory in the name of Jesus. I need to pray for you. That devil of darkness, leave this woman right now. You are leaving. I curse it. You are the spirit of delay. You are the spirit of death. See, something is coming out from you. Out. Out of this woman right now.
I reconcile you with all your loved ones. May they begin to call you and bless you. Let your business flourish. I hold your hands and I give you the keys of blessings as an ambassador of the Most High. Let your times of tears end forever. You will live long. Any curse on you be set free right now. There's a curse on you. Let the curse be taken. Let the curse go by the blood of Jesus. See, there is a demon. Leave her, leave her. See, this is it. Out! 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 Come out of her right now. Come out of her. This is the spirit responsible for this predicament. Out! Come out of her right now. Don't... Your mother is not a witch. Are you hearing me? Please, please don't let people... This is, this is just deliverance God is doing for her. Come out! You are a foul spirit. Out of this woman right now. Out! Out! This curse of darkness. Come out of her. Stand up, madam. You are free. Stand up. God bless you. Don't cry. Please, don't cry. Please. Where's that handkerchief? Help her. Look, madam, wait. Let me explain. Don't be embarrassed. Please. Don't be embarrassed. Alright? Please. Don't let anybody go on. You are not a witch. Please. Do you understand? What happens is that demons can influence people. These are curses and wickedness of the devil. So this manifestation is just the spirit living. You are free now. What you need is to fuse yourself with the word of God. My dear, let me pray for you. Because the Lord, you were the one that God used as a savior. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Let this girl go down. Let her go free right now. I curse you. Out! Come out! Out of her right now. I set you free. I set you free. I open up every door that has been closed. Return no more in Jesus' name. What's your name? I'm going to pray for you. You will get married. Huh? Do you believe that? So let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of delay, you're of the devil. Let this girl go. I set you free right now. forth your life partner into your life right now without confusion without ambiguity they will come and testify in the name of Jesus please hold your hands together Holy Spirit I command salvation for this family right now both those that are here and everyone represented in this picture by faith I command every door that has been closed, let it be open right now. In the name of Jesus. I pray that you will have passion for the word of God because that's the ultimate security. And I pray the name of the Lord that is a strong tower, let that name shield you. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, we put a mark over you. Whatever has left you will not return. Go and return with your testimonies. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pour your hearts tonight, O oh God.
take away pride take away flesh vain glory because you are destined to bless us Lord that we will not become the enemies of your anointing tonight Lord it does not cost you anything to bless me pray it doesn't cost you anything but Lord take away those tendencies that are locked up in my heart tonight search my heart I am the potter me you are the potter and I am the clay open up that clay and take anything that is not you because God will bless tonight one simple prayer point outside make sure you're praying because the Holy Ghost my heart is open oh God let the prosperity come let the open doors come let the deliverance come let the breakthrough come let the new anointing come let the open heavens come i vow to give you the glory i vow to see you exalted it will not take my heart from you i separate my heart from the blessings pray say lord you can change the story of my family but i intercede for my loved ones that they will not go to hell because of the blessings say lord you can heal the cancer you can heal the hiv you can take me from this bone kill to a point of prominence you can give me a voice that the nations will hear is the hand of the lord too short that he cannot save are his ears too dumb that he cannot hear search my heart tonight come on pray search my heart take away pride take away prejudice take away self tendencies to build an empire for myself tendencies to frustrate your anointing make sure you are praying because God is said to lift you it doesn't cost him anything yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I found out, listen to me, that the best way to prepare for the blessings of the Lord is to ask Him to purge you. Oftentimes, we are the limitations ourselves for the things that God will want to do. God looks at you and knows. That the day one million naira enters your hands or your father's hands you will not listen to him again no prayer god knows the day that anointing comes upon you and you can heal the sick god knows that when that hiv goes there's tendency that you will leave him again so tonight you you've got to confirm it and say lord i mean it from my heart I'm not searching for a miracle just to prove a point. I love you and I desire for your glory. Say, Lord, this project has frustrated my family members. But God has had the arrogant statement of our fathers and mothers. 
because only a fool will say in his heart that there is no God and out of the abundance of their pride and their arrogance they have caused the heavens to be shot over them tonight you're going to say Lord visit me second prayer point Lord visit me I didn't come for my neighbor I love my neighbor but Lord visit me pray for yourself give me an encounter say Lord I clap for people as they testified of your faithfulness in their lives but will you give me a story tonight that when the Lord will turn again my captivity it will be like a dream and the heathen will say the Lord has done great things he said turn again our captivity oh God as the streams of the Negev give me an experience Lord can I touch your anointing today can I touch your healing power like the Red Sea separated the Israelites from the Egyptians can you separate me from terminal disease separate me from poverty separate me from lack separate me from demonic oppression let my life move forward let there be a testimony that my God is alive rejoice not over me my enemies for though I fall yet I will rise again go ahead and say Lord let tonight be my appointed time I came for an encounter as the blessings come I receive change my story Jacob said I will not let you go Jacob said I will not let you go I can't just tell people the first time he appeared unto Jacob Jacob did not know and the second time he said I will not let you go for the first time the Lord was in this place and I knew not now I will not let you go Lord till you bless me put a mark upon my life tonight hallelujah I feel we should pray one more prayer point how many of us want to pray for our families say Lord remember my father remember my mother they are not as spiritual as I am but can your mercy change my family's story I don't know how you pray this prayer but lift your voice he said as for me and my house as for me and my house Lord my father is an unbeliever but would you step in tonight that growth that cancer that jobless situation that delay in marriage Lord I've known you as a healer our fathers have told us of your faithfulness Lord you can give my father a job they can complete the house they started building they can own a car by themselves will unbelievers continue to mock my family oh God arise my God arise rent the heavens oh God arise pray from your heart say Lord you gave my family a prophecy we've held on to it for years Lord will you hasten a performance will you hasten a performance oh God for I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded I know my father can be born again I know my mother can be born again come in like a mighty wind change them heal them save them let their dying businesses come alive Hallelujah. Lord, change stories tonight. I prayed earnestly for this meeting. 
I said, Lord, change stories. God will visit you in a dramatic way tonight. Hallelujah. Because there are many people who have been oppressed. You love God, but you have been oppressed. Welcome to an arena of liberty where the Spirit of the Lord is. And in a mighty way, He will wipe your tears tonight. Haba Kabala Dabosi. Now I see the angels of the Lord. Lift up your hands, everybody, inside and outside. When he came and he saw the tears planted with the wheat, he said, An enemy had done this. And I'm going to pray. That the yoke of bondage the oppression of darkness first over your life listen be open tonight for his presence is in this place outside wherever you are the spirit of the Lord I'm going to pray and the Lord will visit you ushers please get ready because the power of God is strong in this place. No devil will stand his presence. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. The Bible says the light shines in the darkness. Every time light shines, darkness must give way. Tonight light will shine. And every devil, every demon, there's no demon born in hell that can stand the fire of the Holy Ghost in this place tonight. And this I believe. So lift up your hands. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And I speak right now thou power of God across this congregation inside and outside everyone under any kind of influence to whatever degree in the name that is above all names Satan let God's people go Listen, you're going to shout Jesus just once. That's the instruction the Lord gives me. As soon as you shout, there will be massive, massive deliverance. Haya yakapa. Ushers, please, let's help them out. Shout Jesus once. One, two, go. Reketeketeboko ya. Ma Inside and outside. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, like a mighty rushing wind, like a mighty rushing wind, go every devil, every devil, every devil, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the fire of the Holy Ghost outside the power of God is setting people free outside by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the fire of the Holy Ghost Outside, outside, the fire of God is falling upon several people. Outside, I lose chains. 
the chains of darkness. I lose chains for the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set at liberty they that are in prison. The power of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's time for you to go free. It's time to go free. Time to go free. Time to go free. Hey! Hey! Yeah, yeah. and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off thy shoulder and the yoke from thy neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing there is an unction from the Holy One I invoke the power of the kingdom I represent in the name of this great king in the name of this government let every other name bow to the Lordship of Jesus No devil, no demon. Hallelujah. Those of you in front. I speak to every devil and every demon because there is a name at the count of three I don't care who you are and where you came from God's people will go free one two three out go 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 out their bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost Satan the Lord rebuke you give me a handkerchief out of her in the name of Jesus out of her now out of her now thou devil of darkness come out of her In the name of Jesus. You will be free. You will be free. You won't remain. For this is a place of liberty.
there are still three people outside the power of God is falling on three people three people outside come out of him now out of him right now in the name of Jesus by the fire of the Holy Ghost you cannot stand the fire power but there is fire upon you my dear it's called the fire of the Holy Ghost no devil hides itself in your soul out of her now there is the fire of the Holy Ghost for you cannot stand is the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus That voice of deceit go go in the name of the Lord Jesus you came from a family given to witchcraft that devil come out of her right now come out of her right now come out of her right now the Lord asked me to come out in this row lift your hands two people captivity must end in your life the power of God will come upon two of you please all shall take note Lord I see a door flying over this congregation now by the power of the Holy Ghost let that fire fall Lord I pray that you locate them two people now in the name of Jesus Oh, it will come like a mighty fire. No devil will stand it. This is important for your family. Right to the back, please lift your hands. Ushers, take note. Two people. Right now, oh God. One. That's one. When the second person is located, let me know. No devil will stand the presence of God. Do we have the second person? Please bring them. Pick them up and bring them. Please bring them. the stage my sister come madam come the Lord has located you tonight are you listening to me the Lord has located you lift your hands please lift your hands can you hear me lift your hands 
Lord, visit madam in the name of Jesus and end captivity in her life by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are Lord. Come. The Lord will locate you no matter where you are. Lord, I set her free. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That devil leaves you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, please bring her. For the Lord visits you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let captivity end. Let the captivity over your family end. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a release for your family. In the name of Jesus. That they will have a testimony that God is alive. Yes, come, please, quickly. Look at me. Tonight, the Lord is going to wipe your tears. Are you listening to me? The Lord will wipe your tears. Lift your hands. My God, visit her. Visit her by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Now listen. These sets of people, this is a sign the Lord gives me. You're going to feel literal fire on your throat literal fire it will burn on your throat whether or not you fall under the anointing once you have that experience please come out lift your hands my god and my king move right now across this congregation confirm it with this sign in the name of the Lord Jesus is happening to many people now some of you it will be so strong the power of God will fall upon you even outside Close, close, so, 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 by. On your throat. On your throat. Press, go, bend the creator. A second, a little devotion. Press, kabadi, a la, 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 la. Touch, touch, touch. Touch them. Everywhere, oh God. Touch them. It's the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's the influence of the Holy Ghost. Please bring them here. It's fire upon your throat.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Now, if you have any blood related disease, please listen. Any blood related disease, whether your genotype is SS or AS, both of them are not the best. The best is AA. All right? Blood disease. Or you have any infection in your blood. Because there are lots of ladies that belong to this category. We're going to take authority over it right now. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Any blood related case, lift your hands. This is a family. Blood related cases, lift your hands. SS, you are a sickler. Don't believe it. I don't care how long it has been. Lift your hands as high as you can because the Holy Ghost is ending many things right now. Now those of you lifting your hands you're going to shout Jesus once. When you do I'd like you to begin to receive your healing. Go ahead and shout one, two, three. His power will come upon you. Be healed. Be healed. Check yourself. Be healed. Be healed. SS. Change. AS. Change. We cancel it. High blood pressure. We cancel it. Stroke. Hypertension. Go. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If you invited a sick person, bring them out here now quickly. If you invited a sick person from anywhere, now is the time for them to be healed. You invited a sick person. Those of you here, I proclaim liberty, total freedom for you. As many Listen, those who cannot go, just shift them on one side and let them. You invited someone inside and outside. Come out, with, come with the person quickly. You invited a sick person. Bring them out here quickly. Hallelujah. Anyone, you came with a sick person. There's someone you are deaf in one ear. You're deaf in one ear. You're deaf in one ear. It started gradually. And now you almost cannot hear anything. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you came with a sick person. Come on. I command that ear to be open right now. I use this as a point of contact. Every deaf ear in this place. I command you to be open right now. Whether partial or total deafness. Be open in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and check yourselves. Is this all? If you came with someone, you invited someone who is sick. Who came with her? What's wrong with that? He says from birth. 
was operated from birth. Yes, at, at the age of um, three months. Um, it's She's your sister? Yes, sir. The, this is how she walks. She can't stand straight. Why? Can she hear me? Yes. Hello, yes. sweetheart. How are you? You're fine. She can't stand straight. Why? Her veins were cut. The veins of her legs. Her hands and her legs. And she can't stand. Yes. Can she lie down, please? Can you put her to lie down? What's wrong? On my back. You have what? A lump on my Look back. Look at me. This is a family. A lump on your back. Where? I noticed it last year. Okay. As I pray for you, watch it shrink. Are you listening to me? As I pray for you, watch it shrink. Thou growth shrink now. Shrink. You are not a growth. You are a wicked spirit. Leave this body now. Shrink now. Please check yourself. Check it. Check it. Go ahead and check it. Let's know what's happening. Oh, you came with her. You're standing for someone. What's wrong with the person? Please check. She's a sickler. Who? Your sister? Lord, we change that genotype right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we change the genotype. Your sister, what's wrong with her? She's pregnant. She's pregnant. What should we do? Pray for her. Oh, we should pray for her. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, appreciate the, the lady. She wants any miracle for her sister. Lord, save delivery. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why are you all standing? Please, we've not called all the cases for. We're going to have the ministers come and minister shortly. Okay? So, what's, what's the case for? Your f Afodia. Yes, this is you? Yes, Come, give me a big hug first. Let's start from there. This is an example of a virtuous lady. Guys, pray to marry this kind of lady. Let me tell you the story. Come up. Her fiance had a ghastly motor accident. How long? 11th of May this year. It's going to be a year. And the car scattered this guy in a way that you cannot imagine. And what many ladies would do is to pack their load and go. Because it doesn't look like there's any blessing there. This lady stayed with this guy in the hospital and said, whatever it is, when I said I loved you, I meant it. Are you listening to me? He said, I'm not going anywhere. To the point that even the guy was discouraged. You can imagine, you said, just go and find somebody. She said, no way. If God is alive, I will walk it with you. We are proud of you. We are very proud of you. You came out to stand for him, right? Stretch your hands, saints of God. And let's agree. Spinal cord issues are very serious issues. But there's nothing the power of God cannot do. Lord, let him stand strong. Perfection. Perfection. Lord, he will walk here all by himself and testify. Reward the sacrifices of this virtuous lady. For standing through the pain. Standing through the mockery. Give her a testimony. Let her know she met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We speak a miracle to him. In the name of Jesus. He will stand up strong. We command bones to be joined to bones. We command tendons to be joined to tendons. Let him rise again. In the name of Jesus. 
God bless you. Please appreciate her. She has straight legs and everything was normal, but she has straight legs. Yes. But what later happened? we noticed that one became like a king leg, while the other one became a bull leg. So we took her to the hospital and they would tell her to they would tell my mom to come yeah. the other week, the other week. They said they were even going to take her for a blood test. So so she went back, they said she'll come back in three weeks' time. They gave her a drug. We can't even find the drug. They said okay, How old is she? She's one year, five months. One year? Yes, sir. You see how wicked Satan is? It's okay, don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Jesus is here. Ushers, please come. I want you to hold this lady for me. Hold this little girl. Just hold her to face me. Please, let me have the guys. Let me have the guys. Sorry, sweetheart. Sorry. 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 Ushers, come now. Gentlemen, have her. Sorry. 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 Let me have her leg. In the name of Jesus, I command the bones in this leg to straighten back right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I command the twisted bones to straighten back. Bones, as in the days of Ezekiel, hear ye the word of the Lord. You notice what is happening to this leg? You people are not seeing. You're missing a big miracle that is happening here. Are you seeing the legs? Ask the sister to come and see. Ask the sister to come and see. Come and see your sister's legs. Was it like this? Ask your sister. Come and see. See a real miracle happening here. Look at this. A real creative miracle. Okay, do you have it? In the name that is above all names. Straighten, straighten completely, thou devil of darkness. Could she walk? Drop her. She could only walk with one leg. Bring her up. Come, bring her. Bring her. Sorry, sweetheart. Hold my hands. Let's walk. Let's walk. Can you walk? Come. Come and help her. Look at her. Look at this girl. Look at her. She could only walk with one leg. Only walk with one leg. Look at this. The power of the Holy Ghost. What a miracle. What a miracle. For there is a name that is above all names. There is a name that is above all names. Can someone, I'm sure she will cry. Can her sister or somebody come and walk with her? Look at her walking. Look at her walking. Leave her to walk alone. Leave her to walk alone. Leave her to walk alone. Let, can she walk alone? Ask her to come. Let's see if there's any improvement. Sorry. One leg used to hold the other. Is there any improvement right now on the leg? okay lord in the name of jesus stretch your hands saints of god that which you have begun don't cry my dear this is why you came here the miracle service is not just a name say lord perfect what you have begun in this girl's life right now Lord, for your glory. Lord, for your glory. For your glory, oh God. Can you improve this girl's life? My dear, I can feel the stress on your veins. Can you make your legs straight? Try. Try, let's see. Look at this. Just try to make your legs straight. Who came with her? 
Please come and stand so that you can encourage her. I see her legs were. What happened to her? Her veins were cut. Her veins were cut. I command the veins to be long. Grow back right now. Look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing what is going on now? <laughs> See, she's even surprised. I command the veins. You hear my voice. Look at her leg going down. She couldn't bend. Now I command this one. Watch this. Watch this. Watch it. See it going down. See it going down. See it going down. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I straighten this leg right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I straighten this leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Could you lift your hands before? Just lay them on my hands. For your glory, O oh God. Would you restore life to these hands? Life. Do your fingers like this. Start moving them. Start. Could you move them before? Could she move them before? Okay. What couldn't she do with these hands? The hands could not. Straight up like this. My dear, look at me. In the name of Jesus, stretch your hands towards me. Just don't look at it. Look at me. Don't look at the hand. Just go ahead and stretch it. These veins were caught too. What kind of surgery was done on her like that? An attack. An attack? Yes, sir. Oh, it was caught in the realm of the spirit? No, she was six oh, months Doctors, six and months then, old. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Just... Give me your other hand, my dear. Lord, this work that you have begun in this lady's life, perfect it. Let every joint, let every vein grow back to full size. Look at me, my dear. You will rise to live a normal life. Okay? A normal life. Let her try to walk. Let's see if there's any improvement. Have you, have you checked yourself to see if there's any improvement? Where, where is the place? I can't feel asthma. it, but it's at your back. Asthma. Asthma. You have asthma. Ah, okay. Look at me. What couldn't you do? When I came, I could not breathe with my nose. You couldn't breathe with your nose. Now breathe now. Can. can you breathe now? Close your mouth. Breathe. Look, she couldn't breathe with her nose. Asthma, gone. Cheaply by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, perfect what you have begun. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, every sick person, come out here and line up quickly. You came here sick. Come out and line up quickly, please. Quickly. Go! In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Every sick person, please come quickly. Jakes, Bishop, Jamfa, please. Bishop Stan, please. As soon as you have a testimony, just rise up here. We're going to do it fast. Inside and outside. While you are standing, don't just watch. Pray and say, Lord, this is my time for a miracle. As soon as they pray for you, check yourself. Bishop, Manasseh. Please spread yourselves. Spread yourselves. The power of God to heal is strong in this place. As soon as they pray for you, check yourself. Once you see a miracle, climb up here. Heal now. In the name of Jesus. Gone. Gone. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Please check yourselves. Miracles are happening right now. Bring a chair. Let me have a chair, please, quickly. Sit down here. Look at me. Heal. Now. In the name of Jesus. Please check yourselves. Everybody look. Okay, let me leave this body now. I wish the camera can look at this. Can you see that one leg is shorter than the other? Please, everybody look. Can you see that one leg is shorter than the other? 
Are you seeing it? Who is not seeing it, please? My brother, watch your leg grow. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command this leg to grow out. Watch what is happening. Grow out now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Grow out now. Look at, look at, watch it. Watch it becoming equal. Watch it becoming equal. There's a little more. Are you seeing what is happening to your legs? My Lord, I pray. Let it grow out right now. Let it grow out right now. Let it grow out. Look at, look at, watch this. Watch this. Just join your, your, your thumbs together. I just want to know when it's complete. A little more. A little more. This is a little shorter. Let it grow out now. Perfect in size. In the name of Jesus. Now try walking. Try walking and let's see. Come. Come. What couldn't you do before? You cannot bend. Do it. Could you do this before? It can't bend completely. Okay, try it. Let's see. Is there any improvement? Yes. Is there any improvement? Go ahead. Continue doing it here. That devil, I pray perfection for her right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
so that there's so much captivity in your family. Now, please hold on. The entire family must give room for the word of God to find expression. For the Bible says, when a demon leaves a man, it goes through arid regions seeking for a place that he will find refuge and not finding any it will tell itself let me go back to where i came from and when he comes and finds out that the place is swept clean but empty it will gather seven other demons plus itself making eight that's a prophetic number for a new beginning and you come back and start a new cycle of captivity hallelujah my sister you will go back with your testimony in the name of jesus please lay your hands on her chest lord set this family free wipe their tears in the name of jesus madam we speak to you by the power of the holy ghost that there is perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus. Perfection by the power of the Holy Ghost. Where's the baby? We anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. anoint her by the power of the Holy Ghost. No captivity against this family stands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, do, do we have prayer requests? Alright, quickly, just pass it to the last person by the sides. Pass it to the last person by the sides. Let me tell you something. If you know the miracles and the things that have been established in the spirit, everyone is a participant of the blessings of the Lord. Ushers, quickly, 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 quickly. Please pass your prayer requests. We have a God that answers prayer. Outside, just pass it to the last person at the extremes. There's room for you to quickly write. If your Lord wants sent it on the text or for the online community, well, they can just post it on they can post it on Facebook or Twitter and we'll pray from there. Hallelujah. Now, aside from aside from pastor and the ministers, if you're here and you're in ministry, please come out quickly. Just come out and line up here inside and outside. out and line up here quickly. You're not walking like ministers. You're walking like lazy people. Come out and line up. A minister is a leader. There's a mighty impartation around here. There is a ring of fire. 
You will receive heavy impartations of the spirit. I didn't say if you think God is calling you, please. I didn't say if you think God is calling you. There is an angel standing with me. There is an angel of the Lord standing with me. There is an angel of the Lord standing with me. And it will please the Lord to anoint and empower people. Hallelujah. Please look at me. The call, the call to ministry, hold on, is a call to discipline, a call to godliness. Hallelujah. A call that requires character. The call for ministry is not about being a man of God and standing to let people call you papa or mama. The, the era of those, those, those satanic concepts of ministry were kicking it out of the church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You must reverence God. It's not the time to be sleeping around or drinking around or stealing around and doing all kinds of things. And then come out and say you are a minister. The Bible says he that desires the office of a bishop desires a good thing. Then he begins to list all of the things. Oh, there is fire here. You people will catch fire this night. You will catch fire. There is an angel standing. You are only reacting to the presence of the angel. There is an angel that stands with me. Hallelujah. And so the call to ministry is a call to seriousness. Your prayer life your word life you must be men of the spirit you can't play a pornographic video you are just watching and then laughing after that you want to get up and go and preach the and let me tell you something no no rush rush in ministry no rush rush all the days of my appointed time job said i will wait it's god that lifts men you can try to promote yourself. Lift your hands, all of you. There is the presence of a mighty angel. God, I pray right now. Would you grant that according to the revelation, please lift your hands, everybody. Just lift your hands. At the count of three, it will fall on you. Many of you will be open to visions in this instant prophetic graces mantles gifts of the spirit one two three receive it right now in the name of the lord jesus let nobody stand the fire power of the holy ghost please lift your hands god is doing a work there is a reason why he said you should lift your hands just lift your hands you will know when it will fall on you Lord, ignite ministries at every level. Prophetic doors be open. Fountains of the prophetic. I break you open now. 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 Apostolic mandates and mantles be opened in the name of Jesus. Evangelistic mantles be open. Grace for massive soul winning. Pastoral graces, let it come upon you like a cloak of fire right now in the name of Jesus. Be faithful leaders, faithful shepherds. Any one of you standing here that has a character or a habit, whatever it is, I caught it now 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 pride arrogance immorality whatever it is we separate you from it let there be the true spirit of the fear of the lord i pray whether it is music ministry or whatever kind of fellowship or group 
receive grace insight into the scripture i release it upon you right now the baptism of the spirit of revelation the baptism of the spirit i impart it upon you i impart it upon you the spirit of revelation in the name of jesus let the depths of revelatory insights break open in your spirit man and every one of you here who is already in error as a result of wrong teachings in the name that is above all names i cause your eyes to be open and i deliver you from the spell of witchcraft and lying and sorcery and using church and ministry as a means for self-gratification you are delivered from that wrong mindset any one of you who have been taken to all kinds of demonic places and you are operating under powers you do not even know the effect right now in the name that is above all names the bible says lay hands suddenly on no man for some of you you don't even know those who laid hands on you and they laid all kinds of demonic things i take those hands away from your life right now in the name of jesus we send you with the power of the holy spirit go and, go and reproduce the result you see here a hundred times i pray for humility and character I'm saying this again and again. This is what will stop you from enjoying the anointing. Humility and character. My brother Karba, please let me pray for you. We've been brothers for a long time. But it's a time God wants to launch you to a new... You will begin to do a major work. A major prophetic work. Not just your publications. But the Lord will begin to do great and awesome things. And the Lord told me... That his fire will fall upon you. I'm going to lay my hands upon you. Like it happened in 2005. Let it repeat itself. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. Unusual unction. Unusual grace. Step into such apostolic and prophetic order of grace. Characterized by a mighty demonstration of the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are four people that God is launching you into a prayer anointing. Now, many people don't know. Prayer anointing is not the anointing that prays. Four. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Great grace to pray. Let the spirit of prayer and intercession come upon you in a strong and dramatic way the spirit of prayer grace to stand upon the mountain without the limitations of your body hallelujah god bless you go back to your seat realize you got something hallelujah Please, let's have all the prayer requests. All the prayer requests. Where is your sister? Bring her. All the way from Niger State. Bring her quickly. Please, let's have all the prayer requests. Outside, please, quickly, quickly. God told me that he will do wonders. And I believe that these prayer requests are a point of contact. You've not written anything. Make sure you write something. We don't just write prayer requests for formality. I tell you, we have a God who answers prayer. Many of you will remain for days under a heavy unction of the spirit. For days, days, days under a heavy unction a heavy unction of the spirit
Hallelujah. Please pour them here while I minister to the lady. The Lord will set you free, my sister. It's good to see you again. Hallelujah. All the way from Abuja. Throw me now and here. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. God will set you free. Lord, I command a release for your daughter. I command a release. You are free from the influences of darkness. You're going to sense like fire on your head just where I'm touching. Just where I'm touching. Because this is what I see in the spirit. Hmm. <laughs> Just leave her. Nobody should touch her. All you can do is just cover her. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. It is the fire power of the spirit. Come out of her. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Very quickly, we are going to pray. Please, may I request the servants of God to just come quickly? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and believe the Lord for your miracles. There are impossible things written here. We do this all the time, not as a formality. Please pray, saints of God, and say, Lord, bring miracles. We cry. We cry for miracles. Miracles. Breakthrough, so God. 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 Change stories. Change stories. Change stories. Change stories. Change stories, oh God. Let the barren receive children. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for miracles tonight. We release miracles in the name of Jesus. We ask that let the heavens be open. Let miracles be released. Let miracles be released in the name of Jesus. We declare miracles of healing. We declare miracles of breakthrough. We declare miracles of deliverance. Miracles of prosperity in the name of Jesus. Lord, we command all kinds of miracles. All kinds of miracles. All kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that your angels go forth and bring deliverance and bring breakthroughs and bring healing and bring all kinds of miracles. Lord, we ask that every desire of your people in this place, let there be a release. Let there be a release. Let there be a release. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for miracles. Thank you, Lord, because there shall be testimonies of all kind. We give you the glory. We give you the praise for miracles and testimonies. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. We thank you because you have heard us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Please rise up on your feet. This is a moment I love so much. Where you see the creative power of the spoken word. Outside, inside, lift your hands everybody. There is a strong unction of the spirit. We'll do an impartation before we just speak and then we round up. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, I am hungry. Say, Lord, I am hungry. More grace. More unction. More passion. 
wherever you are this is where God will meet you you won't escape the fire I'm going to pray and as I stretch my hands mark everyone oh God Holy Ghost move across this congregation I like you to just shout I receive once now oh God touch 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 I release the power of the Holy Ghost now let it move across the congregation no you don't need to bring people outside everybody impartations impartations lift your hands the gift of the spirit the gift of the spirit the gift of the spirit faith miracles discernment tongues baptisms hey fire 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 inside and outside in the overflow let it fall like rain let it fall like rain this side all of you this side lift your hands like a mighty rushing wind take it in the name of Jesus take it in the name of Jesus take it in the name of Jesus Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside, lift your hands. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. From the back to the front. I command supernatural favor. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Because thou was love, righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above thy fellows. I pray right now. Receive an impartation for favor. In the name of Jesus. Make sure you shout amen from your spirit. I pray for you and your families. Every door that has been closed be open now in the name of Jesus. Miracles in your family. Marriage miracles. Job miracles. I speak it. Let the barren Rejoice with children. Let the barren rejoice with children. Let the sick in our homes be healed right now. I command promotion. I command promotion in every family. Increase. I release it. Increase. 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 I command the plague of death over anyone's life in this place and your family members. Let the plague of death be lifted forever in the name of Jesus. For those trusting God for admission, I'm glad they withdrew the list because we create room for you. In the name of Jesus. Every kind of demonic oppression over your mind that hinders productivity, 
that hinders creativity right now in the name of Jesus I set you free in Jesus name whatever has made you cry or made the members of your family cry tonight may God wipe their tears in the name of Jesus before the year runs out receive fearful testimonies before the year runs out as surely as the God of Israel leaves Stagnation, lack, financial limitations over your life and your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I end it right now. We end it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. every strange occurrences in your life whether in your body or in your family circles of failure circles of delay in the name of the Lord Jesus I bring it to an end in the name of Jesus I command speed and acceleration Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for insight in the word of God. The Holy Ghost asked me to open my Bible and just lift it up. I pray that a spirit will rise out from this world and hit you where you are. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. Let the spirit of the word Hit you where you are. Let the spirit of the word hit you where you are. Uncommon insight. Uncommon insight. Uncommon insight to the word of God. I pray for a restoration of dreams. A restoration of visions. A restoration of experiences God used to speak to you through dreams through visions through a prophetic encounters for some reasons you stop aligning with the Holy Ghost tonight like the hair of Samson I command the restoration dreams visions dreams visions prophetic encounters in the name of Jesus. I pray that from this place miracle workers arise. Workers of miracles go and heal the sick. I release the anointing upon you. Go and cast out devils. Go and raise the dead freely you have received freely give in the name of Jesus and because we are in a week of evangelism lift your hands many of you don't have the grace and the courage to preach something will come upon you you will not be able to stop talking to people about Jesus this is the reason why you died therefore let that evangelistic anointing fall upon the house Lord we pray this is our evangelism week grace for baptisms in the Holy Ghost grace to preach every fear every timidity that stops you from declaring the gospel I lift it off you in the name of Jesus go and preach in your homes in your offices in your workplaces in the name of Jesus
Let there be a rain of testimonies in your life. Fearful testimonies. All the ladies here trusting God for a godly relationship and marriage in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever is stopping you Whatever becomes a seal and a covering to your glory, I command it to be lifted right now. In the name of Jesus. Everyone here suffering from any habit, strongholds, you are suffering from habits, masturbation, pornography, immorality, a stubborn spirit, whatever it is right now by the power of the holy ghost i set you free in the name of jesus grace to say no to every appearance of wickedness in the name of jesus i break you free i break you free those of you who cannot say no listen those of you who cannot say no to sin to unrighteousness in the name of Jesus the Bible says the grace of God has appeared unto all men teaching men to say no everything cannot be yes are you listening to me grace any guy that comes to your life ladies and is an agent of darkness to ruin your life in the name that is above all names I separate you ladies from the company of wicked and unreasonable men in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I mark you for glory. Let there be a mark of glory upon your life. Let no devil be able to touch you. As the mountains surround Jerusalem. I declare in the name of Jesus. That you are surrounded. Whatever door that should be open unto you. That is still closed if you can walk out of any door in this place that is exactly how that door is open for you in the spirit except you are not able to walk out through a door tonight but if your legs can take you out of a door receive testimonies of undeniable breakthroughs in the name of jesus i call every dry bone every dry bone in whatever area hear ye the word of the lord every dry bone let the wind of the spirit make every dry bone become an exceeding great army in the name of jesus hallelujah there is a miracle that no herbalist can mimic hallelujah there is only one force and power we know that is able to convert a sinner and make him righteous satan cannot do this I, every other miracle the rod of pharaoh can reproduce it but one thing that cannot be done satan does not have the ability to make a bad person become a good person that's where the limitation that's why paul said i pray that you will understand the kind of power that was exerted when christ was raised from the dead listen to me you're here and you're tired of your struggles and your sorrow in this life Jesus is calling you there are so many people where's the gentleman that I spoke to you should be the first to run out of here right now run out and come to the front the Lord is calling us to make a great decision please rise up everybody this is the greatest miracle this is the greatest 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 miracle you want to be born again you want to give your heart to the lord inside and outside or you have been born again but at a time you you fell out from the things of god tonight the lord is calling you leave your seat appreciate them as they come god is speaking to you don't sit back this is the greatest miracle leave your seat and come you are welcome you are welcome the lord is speaking to you outside don't look at your friend this is about your destiny in christ 
Jesus is Lord. All this was done for you. Keep clapping. We will wait for you. We are out of time, but we will wait for you. We will wait for you. Come and kneel down before him here. Keep clapping. The Holy Ghost is still speaking. Young and old. The Bible says, Today is a day of salvation. He said, In the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. We are still waiting. We are still clapping. Oh Lord, let no one who should be saved defy the power of salvation. Hallelujah. Look at me. I congratulate all of you for making this decision. I want to help you make your salvation genuine. Hallelujah. Jesus said, no one comes to the Father except through me. And he said, anyone who will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. No matter what it is that you have done, your sins are not too much for the Lord to receive you. We do not condemn you. But at the same time, there is power for you to break free from it. Hallelujah. Let your salvation be genuine. Don't be emotional about it. Be very, very true about it. Let today be the beginning of a transformation in your life. As loud as you can to Jesus the Almighty. I'd like you to say after me, Lord Jesus. I come to you just as I am. Unable to help myself. But I believe your power to save and tonight I give you my heart total surrender have every part of me I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that I'm born again Holy Spirit come and live in me make me become a true Christian I denounce sin and unrighteousness in the name of Jesus now let me pray for you father you brought these ones preserve them by your spirit it came in genuine repentance and Lord I pray that no more pathway to the world of sin unrighteousness and iniquity let tonight mark the beginning of a new experience in their life I break the power of addiction over you now in the name of Jesus Lord I pray that this will be the beginning of a new life in Christ we welcome you into the most glorious family God's own family God's own family God's own family grace to say no to sin grace to walk in newness of life and righteousness we release it upon you appreciate God for this great harvest hallelujah thank you heaven rejoices over your salvation hallelujah now I'd like you in one minute to just walk down the ushers will be glad to just welcome you have your details and then we'll follow you up God bless you for your bold decision please salute them thank you Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, if this is your first time of worshiping with us, please and please leave your seat and run out here quickly. We have a prophecy and a blessing for you. This is your first time inside and outside. Koinonia, don't stop clapping. You are anointed people. Come on, keep clapping. Everyone, young and old, please motivate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Inside and outside. The Lord brought you for his glory. Thank you. You are welcome. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him 
that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.